All right, so this one apparently has some controversy with it, and that's okay. So let's go ahead and do this one. All right, so first I'm going to factor these, and then we'll worry about that division. So this first term here, I've got uh, 8z squared plus 14z plus 3. So to factor this one out, I'm going to use factoring by grouping. So I'm going to take 8 times 3, which is going to be 24. I need two factors of 24 to add up to 14. So 8 and 3 is no good. 12 and 2. That seems to work. So this would be 8z squared plus 12z plus 2z plus 3. So all I did is I split up this 14z into this 12z plus 2z. Now I'm going to factor this by grouping. So from these first two terms, not those two, this one and this one, I can factor out a 4 and a z, which leaves me with uh, 2z plus 3. Then I'm going to look at these two terms, and I can factor out a 1 from both of those, leaving me with 2z plus 3. So this uh, top left term will factor into 4z plus 1 times 2z plus 3. And that's where we'll go in the fraction. And we'll just fill in the other blanks there too. Well, let's go and do the next one. We'll do this 20z plus z minus 1. So I've got 20... Actually, sorry, let me give myself more space. I'm going to do it over here. 20 times negative 1 would be negative 20. I need two factors of negative 20 to add up to this 1 right here. So it looks like 4 and 5 should work. And in this case, the 4 would be negative. So it's going to factor out like this uh, using factoring by grouping. 20z squared plus 5z minus 4z minus 1. And from these first two terms, I can factor out a 5z, leaving us with 4z plus 1 in the parentheses. Now, out of these next two terms, I can factor out a negative 1, and that would just change it to 4z plus 1. So now I have a 4z plus 1 binomial that I can factor out from both of these. And that's as far as I could take that. 5z minus 1 <coughs> and 4z plus 1. Uh, and I've got to take the 2 times the 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. I need two factors of 12 that add up to 7. So 4 and, yeah, 4 and 3. So this would split up into 2z squared plus 4z plus 3z plus 6. And from these first two terms, I can factor out a 2z, which would leave me with z plus 2. And from these two terms, I could factor out a 3 which would also leave me with a z plus 2. And I ran out of space there. z plus 2. So I can factor out from the 2z and the positive 3 a z plus 2. All right, let's do this one now. So I've got 35 times negative 2, which is negative 70. I need two factors which will add up to 3. So, oh yeah, that sounds great, actually. 10 and 7 should work. Uh, and then I'm going to make the 7 a negative, which would give us the negative 70. So that gives us 35. Well, wouldn't it be? So splitting up that middle term, the 3z, I've got a positive 10z minus 7z. 
and then this is minus 2. So factoring out from these first two terms, looks like we can factor out a 5z. That was squared, sorry. So that leaves me with 7z plus 2. And from these other two terms, I can factor out a negative 1, leaving us with 7z plus 2. So on the bottom right here, we've got 5z minus 1 times 7z plus 2. All right, the next thing I'm going to want to do is reciprocate the second fraction so that I can multiply. All right, so this is what we have after we reciprocate that um, divisor, the second term there. Now all we're going to do is make this one big fraction and see what we can cancel. So we don't have to define common denominators. We don't need common denominators here since it's multiplication. If it were addition or subtraction, we would. Fortunately for us, it is multiplication because that would be huge pain. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is just cancel out anything that's in the denominator and numerator. So right here, I, I've got this 4z plus 1 and this 4z plus 1. Those are going to cancel out. I've got this 2z plus 3 and this 2z plus 3. Those should cancel out. I've got this 5z minus 1 and this 5z minus 1. And all we're left with in the end is this 7z plus 2. And in the denominator, we had a z plus 2. I did get rid of the parentheses only because now uh, it's not being multiplied by anything anymore. Uh, yeah, so this, this would split up into 7z over z plus 2. See, and there's nothing to really simplify there. And same with the 2, 2 over z plus 2. So yeah, there's not, that doesn't really help us in terms of simplification. In fact, I would say it made it worse.